Hello, YouTubers and YouTubettes. Um, so today I'm going to be making gun cotton. And so to make gun cotton, um, we're going to start with chilling sulfuric acid and nitric acid. Um, the sulfuric acid is 98% and the nitric acid I'm using is 68%. And so we're going to mix them in a 50-50 ratio and then um, slowly can, uh, pour the nitric acid into the sulfuric acid after, they're, after they've been chilled in a freezer or so for an hour or so. And um, we're going to put that container into an ice bath. I'll get that ready and be right back. All right, so in the middle container I have my nitric acid and sulfuric acid 50-50 mix. And then on the outside, I have um, just water with ice in it, and then I put salt on the ice, and that helps it cool a ton. Um, so when you're doing this, you have to do it in the temperature between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius, and it's very important that you do that. Um, and also, you're going to want to keep another container of cold water next to you in case that your uh, batch goes in a runaway and what happens in a runaway is that your temperature will just not stop going up and after it hit it'll hit about 35 or 40 degrees Celsius and it will spontaneously combust and uh, it'll be obvious before it happens I mean it'll it'll turn it'll start putting out a whole ton of uh, nitrous oxide smoke and uh, it's not good <laughs> and so um, yeah so anyways I'm at about 15 degrees Celsius now and then we're gonna add in I'm gonna add in cotton balls and a wash rag and now the wash rag and the cotton balls are all 100% pure cotton and uh, you're definitely I'm doing this outside even though I have a fume hood just in case it runs away because it, it's very easy to have it run away um, so yeah and again you want to do it between 10 and 30 degrees Celsius and so um, I'm gonna go put some gloves on and then uh, put the cotton in it and I'll be right back all right so you can see you got my rag in there and then I got a bunch of cotton balls and um, we're at 18, 6, 7 degrees Celsius. And uh, so now these are going to sit in here for about an hour or so. And um, now as far as nitrating goes, because that's what we're doing is nitrating, um, lawfully uh, you can only nitrate it to a certain percent. I don't know what that number is off the top of my head. But uh, that's why I'm only going to leave it in here for about an hour so I don't exceed an illegal limit. And so now something that I found is that you can nitrate things more than once. In fact, you can nitrate it a bunch of times. And so pretend that you do an hour here, hour there, hour then or whatever. And your amount of nitration that will happen will just increase more and more. And so will the... Uh, flammability of s said cotton or whatever you use will do it and so this process is actually the same process you'd use to make nitroglycerin in instead of putting the cotton in you'd put glycerin in and so then um, once your nitro once your glycerin would be in there to where I'm gonna take the cotton out and then rinse the cotton and I'll still be left with my liquid in this container but so for nitroglycerin, what you do would be you'd add water into this to dilute it extensively. And that will make your glycerin clump together in the bottom of it. So then you can pour it off. And then there's a couple other steps to do. But yeah, anyways, uh, so this process works good for that also. But again, you still want to make sure you don't exceed your temperatures. And now we're at 15 on the side. Let's see. So yeah, you can see the temperature rises and stuff. The sulfuric acid likes to react. <laughs> but 
So yeah, so anyways, I'll be back in an hour or so and show you what's up. Well, it's been an hour now. And so now I'm going to take these out and strain them. Well, not strain them, but I'm going to wring them out. So, let's see, I'm trying to do this one-handed. So now what I'm going to try to do after I get all these wrung out and taken care of, I'm going to try using this fluid to run another batch. Um, let's see what it does because I think it should still work. And so I'm going to find out. Alright, well, it, uh, you guys don't need to see me do this. But so basically what I'm going to do... So now that I've got these wrung out, I'm going to go run, rinse them in water about five times. And then I'm going to put uh, baking soda and water in them to make sure all the acid is neutralized in them. Wring them out again and then dry them out. And so I'll get come back when I'm doing the baking soda. Alright, so now I've added my baking soda and some more water. And um, stirring these up to make sure all the acid is neutralized in these and um, so then once the acid is all neutralized then uh, I'm going to strain these out well I'm going to rinse them again to make sure the sodium bicarbonate the baking soda is also rinsed away and then I'm going to start the drying process and so I will be right back with that part so I ended up shredding the cotton balls and stuff, and it made the soda, baking soda work a lot better. Um, it, 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 you need to do this eventually to help them dry, but <clears throat> um, just doing it earlier like this definitely helped. Uh, yeah. Alright, it's all done. It kind of has a yellow tint to it now. Um, so basically just dry it till it's dry, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Alright, so it's all dry, and I'll show you what it does. Oh, not dry enough. Boo. And that's that. Till the next one.